Yeah. What are some of the um, uh, techniques that the companions of Fox and well the cell as well as the Fox cells all itself used to um, uh, practice in order to maintain this type of feeling that you mentioned? Well, again, like I said, part of what they had was the presence of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Part of what they had, you know, that was to their, I mean, that was a great thing for them. I was mentioning earlier, was it in the group or was it with someone, I, that someone came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and they said, he said to him, he said, go to such and such a country and take the teachings of Islam to them. And the man said, I, lie, I don't think I can do that. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi came up to him, put his hand on his heart. I think, was that in the class? I did that in the class. So that's the touch. It was the presence of him that made a lot of difference, for one thing. But they also lived in a time in which they were more present in, by the lifestyle they had. That's the exercise they did. The Prophet ﷺ carried wood on his back. And when people tried to take it from him, he said, no. They walked from one place to another. Walking is not a little thing in terms of what it does, not only to the body and the circulation and the sense of weight and carrying your own weight, but what it does in terms of the right and left brain. What it does in terms of interaction and coordination. We, we don't realize the simplest things that we've been given are great, great, great gifts. So a lot of the practices they had, and they ate together. That's a practice they had. Connection. Connection. Presence with each other is a powerful medicine. Connection with Allah's creation is a powerful medicine. How many of you know, I mean, I have seen this for years. I saw, again, this personality profile of the abused woman who is abused sexually. Horrible, horrible stories. You can't imagine how does this person come out with any goodness in their heart for any other human being. Wallahi, it's a testament. The way people have gone through is a testament to what's possible with goodness and the forgiveness that people can carry in them. And I've seen them not, you know, just have, be hypersensitive to the environment just so that everything affects them. And so hypersensitive they can't sleep. They can't enjoy life at all. And I've seen them go amongst animals like horses. Incredible healing to be with horses. Go into the forest and be with nature. To touch the ground, to smell the, the to touch the tree, to be with the trees, to walk on the earth. These things are healing to us. Our body responds, because this is who we are. We're made from the earth. And this is part of the design. But we've left it behind, you know? So that's some of the practices. They also, you know, they had this, because of what was happening, they had this, one of the things I consider very high level is this concept of inspiration. Like when I come to a group like this, I often, I was telling the brother, I often want to just like, Say thing. I just want to inspire people because that's what we need. We need to inspire ourselves and we need to inspire each other. Inspire means to breathe in. Ah, you know, we need to be inspired. We need to have the enthusiasm about the reality of our life and our inevitable death that's right there in front of us, not too far away probably, you know. We don't know how far, but, you know, being alive. 